The challenge is to devise a score that will not eradicate the dialogue. It's an opportunity to create part of a tableau. I don't have 100% of people's intellectual attention. If one tries to do that, I think you're going to overwrite the scene to the point where it will be less successful and finding a voice sympathetic with and complementary to these other elements. When you think about what a melody is, you have to think about the DNA of the character. Monk's theme is kind of craggy. It very much comes from Polonius Monk's style of composing. His left hand was often in these kind of blocky chords, and his right hand was much more fluid. This is very much like the character Thelonious Ellison. He has this kind of front layer of crankiness, but then a fluidity that comes out during the course of the film. We didn't really go for inspirations in the traditional sense. It's very to do with Bella, and I thought a great deal about the sort of emotions she'd be feeling as a character who's basically experiencing a huge amount of extreme things for the first time, you know, falling in love or seeing death in this really, you know, vulnerable state. But being able to, like, exaggerate and melodramatize all of this emotion was really important. There's a point where the music takes a big shift and that's when they're getting ready to do the final test and the whole musical tone just completely changes. Going from things that sounds like music to things that doesn't sound like music. So I'm, I'm using all these different sound effects and making that into a very stressful emotion. Using music more like sound design. You can feel it more in your body than in your ears. Robbie Robertson's score was the heartbeat of the movie. In certain places, it had to be obviously very dynamic, and in other places, it had to be very, very subtle. And that was a real delicate balance. It couldn't intrude, and at the same time, it had to drive the story. The music also plays a very important role, setting the atmosphere and the culture of the West in the 20s. 